All right, there we have it. Gas tank is out. I chose to take the pump out and let it hang in the car because there's a couple wires that go across that really kind of tie everything up. It was easier just to undo these and you'd have to take the pump out anyway. Pull the pump out and take that variable out of the equation. Um, I'll be honest, it's not like real fun or real, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but it's not hard. It's just tedious. You got to get in here and undo this one. You got to undo this one. You know, you got to undo that and pull it out. There's a lot of little hoses here and there. There's like a connecting piece that goes between here and there. Um, I'm not even sure what that is. That maybe the gauge. I don't know. Um, anyway, the reason I took this thing out is it's kind of a cool design. I think it's actually going to work in my race car I'm building out of a Subaru Brat. So, uh, since I'm so curious, I'll take it over there and take a look at this thing. I don't know if it's just going to pop right in there. Might have to make a tube removable or something, but the idea is that it's got a hump built into it. God dang, that's not quite going to work. Well, it's a cool idea. No, I just took it out for nothing. I guess I'll clean it before I put it back in. Ain't that a bitch. Fabricator's life. Trial and error. So, anyway, the point of this was not, I mean, I wanted to get that in there. The point of this video was just to show you guys, it's not that big a deal. You just can't be scared. Take your car apart. You're going to have to take it apart. Try to do that and leave all the suspension in. You're just going to fight it the whole time. So don't be stubborn. Just do it the right way. There you go. You've been informed. Hope you don't have to swap your gas tank. But if you do, that's how you do it.